My family wants me to give my sister a wedding venue because she needs it more and she is pregnant. Hi guys I posted this over at Relationship Advice. My update got removed so I will post the original story as well as the two updates here as a big all-in-one story. Sorry for any grammatical and spelling errors. I had uploaded this story one time but it was removed due to my account being younger than 120 hours. Edit, people have asked why I post this so much. The reason I just that I want to keep you updated. This is just a comprime story of all what happened. The story on AITA was removed because it violated Rule 8. And the mods on RA informed me that they had to remove it unless I can verify myself with some sort of social media. I just look for a sub where I can keep all the beautiful people that supported me so much in the loop. Edit 2, guys I really appreciate you wanting to support us. But we don't need donations. We are luckily good off and have a support net around us. I appreciate the sentiment and am very touched by your support and that all I really need. Part 1. My fiancé and I have been together for 8 years and engaged for 3. I was doing my PhD program and was juggling planning the wedding. My fiancé took much of that work, but it was perfect because our dream venue was booked till after my graduation. So what we did is book our dream venue 3 years in advance. It is really a beautiful venue. The only slot we got was September of this year. My sister got engaged a few months ago to her fiancé. They were planning on having a spring wedding next year. They had no venue lined up, but had a few vendors lined up as well as a set date. Yesterday our parents invited us and are so backslash s to a family barbecue, where my sister announced to our extended family that she is expecting. Everyone was so happy for her and my BIL, who is a great guy, but my nan asked my sister if the wedding was still on the set date or if they were going to wait, because of the baby she said no that she hoped to move it to September.nbd. We don't have many out of town guests so they could attend to both weddings no problem, nan was happy and asked sister if she needed help planning such a short notice wedding. My sister then turns around and said asterisk that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I was really really hoping we could kinda like take your venue? I really cannot stress myself too much with planning a wedding while going to maternity classes. And I think it is so beautiful. It would really mean a lot to me star. It went silent. But everyone was looking at me expecting me to say. Yes of course everything for my little sister. My BIL looked very uncomfortable and told her that they had talked about this and that it was not okay to put me on the spot. But my sister just said asterisk don't be like that. My sister wants to do what's best for me so it's no big deal right? Asterisk I just said well it kind of is. I don't know. I have my heart really set on the venue cue the crying. She stormed off, Nan told me that I was being selfish because she needed the venue more than I did. I tried to defend myself and my mother said you waited three years. Would it have killed you to wait a few more moths? When has your sister ever asked you for something? A few comments later my fiancé got really mad and we left. My sister called me crying and said that it was unfair that I always get what I want and that I could have done this one thing for her. Dad said it is just a venue and what matters is the person who you are marrying. He is kid of right, but we have been planning for so long. My fiancé is furious with my family and doesn't even want my sister to come. Now my family is threatening not to come because I am being selfish and my sister needs it more than me because having a baby is too stressful. Part 2. My BIL called me and apologized for the inconvenience. He told me he had discussed it with my sister and she had told him she would not ask. He is properly mad with her now and warned me that my sister is blaming me for potentially ruining her marriage. My father has sent me about five texts along the lines of I hope you are happy your sister hasn't stopped crying since yesterday and so on and so on. My fiancé and I have decided to boot my sister from the bridal party and replace her with my aunt who is the only family member that took my side. We have not decided whether or not we will invite my family as a whole, furthermore my mom took it upon her to tell on us. She called fiancé's parents and told them that it would be best if my sister gets it because she is pregnant and preeclampsia runs in the family. Whatever that means. 
My future father-in-law told them to fuck off and basically rip my mom a new one for expecting something so ridiculous and that they were going to lose me if they keep playing favorites to so my mom is now crying too and saying that my father-in-law is an ass, this is just getting so pathetic. It seems straight out of a bad soap opera that my in-laws are driving to us currently with some supper and wine and basically told me to not worry and that no matter what happens that they will be my safety net. I cried of happiness. Part 3 so it hasn't been that long. But this post blew the hell up. I was expecting only a few answers, but the support was overwhelming. What boggled my mind is that this story flooded over to mainstream media, but let's get to the story.so since this went viral a lot happened. My sister. My sister saw this story while browsing on her Reddit ACC. She lost her mind. She accused me of painting her like a loony and misinterpreting facts. Info. My sister got wind of the situation due to various media outlets and went on Reddit. She said that I was being unfair. That she is family and that she asked it nicely because she loves me. She also underlines the fact that the opinion of internet strangers doesn't count because family is more important and I should focus on making my family happy. The only text I sent back was this. I am sorry that you perceived it that way. I did not in any matter distort what happened. As you might notice I didn't describe your tone nor exaggerated anything. Perhaps you have that night different in your mind than I do, but I digress. I am sick and tired to bending to your will. My whole life I have been your servant and your doormat. Remember all the birthdays I had to share with you because you would throw a tantrum because you didn't get presents? Or when you cried so that I would fill out job applications for you? But the thing that has hurt me most till now is when you ruined my graduation. I am done. I admit that I also spoiled you but I will not any longer. If you want to marry so bad before your baby is born then you could look at Hotel X that offers last minute weddings. I have spent too much time planning MY wedding to gift it to you and if you want to ruin our relationship over this then go ahead. I will sleep sound and safe knowing that it wasn't my fault. She only sent me a wow. You must love me so very much. And block me. She unblocked me this morning to send me this. Wedding planner, hello dear, I got the message from your mother and will proceed with the rebooking of the venue on the spot. However this will have extra costs as we have to change the names on the contract. Please come by my office tomorrow so we can sign the new contract. Slash sister, that's great. I'll be there at 9. My parents my parents haven't actually written me since the thing with my father in law.my older brother, yes I have an older brother but he lives in another city and wasn't at the barbecue, that's why I didn't mention him. Plus he initially could not come to the wedding because of work and changed his plans after hearing about all the story. Contacted me and wanted to know what happened because he got a weird story from mom and dad. Mom had told him that I had offered previous to the barbecue to give up the venue to my sister and that I humiliated her. I told him what really happened and he had no problem believing me. We talked a lot about our parents' behavior and he confessed that him moving was partly due to our parents being, and I quote, shitheads to us, he told me that mom had gotten wind from the post and was mad at me for betraying my family, I haven't written my parents what so many of you advised me to because I have to come to terms with the fact that they love my sister more than me, if they love me at all. The Wedding We sat together and put passwords with majority of our vendors and also with the venue directly. We didn't talk to our planner yet which is why the text of my sister worries me so much. Also we cancelled the catering that my parents paid for. So short term we won't be able to get a full catering like we wanted to. But all our friends and my fiancé's family will help us prepare a buffet and everyone is going to chip in. That will be our bachelor party. As we will have to spend more on our food now we cancelled our bachelor parties and will have a family and friends cooking session. Thank you again for helping me see how toxic my family is. I will try to sort it out. If they apologize from the bottom of their heart, they will be allowed into my wedding, but if not, then will. I still have my brother, who will be walking me down to the aisle, and my aunt. Part 4 We called my planner and she was actually really horrified. She told me she never had as much as talked to my mother since the day we went to book the venue. She assured me that even if they were to call and say that I wanted it, I had to be present to make any changes. 
So we informed everyone that will work for us on our wedding and they offered to hire security for that day at a reduced price. 